So now we're back in Nuke. What we can do now is use some of the parameters and adjust them to get a much better result. First of all, we have the actual degree in the mount. Now this is a coarse adjustment control. Now increasing the tune will remove more grain and decreasing it will leave more in, so it's fairly self-explanatory. Now what we can do is actually increase the degrain amount to remove more grain. So let's just put this to 2. As you can see we've doubled our intensive degrain amount, so we're taking more grain away from the actual image. Now if we look closer, we can see by increasing this parameter we have actually made the edge just a little bit softer. Now we don't want this, we want to try and keep as much detail in as possible. So what we should do is actually take this down just a little to 1.3. We zoom in. Now you can actually see that just by taking it down to 1.3 we have kept a lot more detail in. However, there's still some of the grain is present. Now degrading this way is actually a fairly crude way of actually degrading the image as it's a little bit hit and miss. You can lose a lot of the image data yet you can actually take away a lot of the grain. Now the easiest way to find the optimum setting for FD grain is to look at what is being removed from the image. Now to do this, we have to change the output parameter to grain. Let's do this now. Now this will display the grain that is being subtracted from the original image. Now if necessary, you can exaggerate the grain to make it more obvious, but in this case the default setting of 10 is more than adequate. Now when you are viewing in this mode, only the grain should be visible in the image. Now, if you can see a lot of picture detail, it means that the degrain is working too hard and removing too much of the image to lead to a soft result. Now, the exaggerated grain parameter does not add or remove grain. It simply makes the grain more visible for identifying where the grain is in the actual image. Now, to increase this actual degrain parameters, what we have to do is go into the advanced settings. And within this, you'll find two other parameters. We'll find the frequencies and the channels. Let's open the frequencies tab. Now, degrain works by decomposing the image into four levels. We have small, medium, large, and huge. Now, to set the first level, we need to make sure the huge process frequencies is the only process control checked. So, we need to uncheck the small, the medium, and the large. As you can see, by unchecking them, each of these layers is taken away. Uh, what we need to do is look at the actual image. Now, if too much of the actual image detail is coming through, the degrain is working too hard. So now we are viewing the huge amount process in the frequency channel over here. What we need to do now is actually reduce this till only a small portion of the image is visible. As such. And we need to do this for each of the parameters, so we're not taking away all the detail. And once we actually see how much detail we're actually taking away, we can increase this and adjust this to actually match the actual image, so we're not taking away too much of the detail all at once. So now we've actually set the huge amount. What we need to do is do the same for the large, medium, and small. So we can click on the actual large amount. What we can do is just take this down to a minimum amount, add the medium again. Remove this down, add the small. As you can see already, we can't actually see any more of the image. Just by reducing these parameters to a lower amount than actual default settings, we've actually removed less of the grain and therefore less of the image detail is actually viewable in the actual removed grain. So what we need to do now is go back to the result. As you can see, if we just maximize the viewer, Zoom in. And we can actually see we're actually taking away a lot of the grain. However, there are some portions of the actual grain still visible in the screen. So what we need to do now is adjust each of these parameters that we have adjusted now just by increasing them to remove more of the grain from the image, yet leaving more of the detail in the actual image itself. So we're just taking away grain and not the detail. So what we need to do now is go back to the grain output you can see the grain we have there. And what we should do is just increase these so slightly until we can see an improvement. As you can see, we've taken away much more of the actual huge amount of grain, so we're filling the gaps again. We need to do the same for the actual large as well. So we'll just increase this to the same amount as the huge. And what we need to again is adjust the medium amount.
But you see, we've taken away just a subtly amount more of the grain, and we've just improved the render. You will see some impression of the image in the grain structure. Bear in mind, this is exaggerated by 10. So now we've adjusted the actual frequency's parameters, we can actually change the output to result. Now what we can do is actually set the channels, so our original with the grain on is 1, and our degrainer is 2. So if we just actually look at the image and maximize it, what we can do now is actually view the original image with the actual grain on the system, and if we flip to channel 2, we can see our degrainer. As you can see, if we flip between the two now, you can see we have kept a lot of the detail, yet we have removed almost all of the grain. Now, often the blue channel will contain more grain than the red and green. Now, this can be checked by viewing the individual color channels in the viewer. This is the case. Increasing the blue amount will remove enough grain and improve the render. So let's have a look at this. Let's just maximize the viewer. Let's have a look at the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. As you can see, there's a massive contrast between the green and the blue channel than in the green and the red. So what we have to do now is adjust this in the color channels properties. We can do if we just increase this to 1.13. We have taken away a lot of the actual grain from the individual blue channel. So if we go back to actual color and view the result now, we can see we have improved the render and we've taken away a majority of the grain. So if we just have a quick check between the two, we have the original and our degrainer. So now we've seen how the actual frequencies and the color channels can affect the amount of grain being actually removed from the original image. 